Okay, hi there. Welcome to a video looking at some examples of how to calculate percentage changes. Quantitative skills will account for around 20% of your mark in A-level economics, and therefore it's a good, uh, good idea just to practice a few examples of having to calculate percentage changes from economic data. And this video will give you a chance to do just that. So try to have a, a calculating implement somewhere close to hand as we go through this video. A quick reminder that a percentage change is the change in a variable uh, divided by the original and then multiplied by 100 to give you the percentage change. The change, of course, is the new value minus the original value and always divide, whatever formula you use, always divide by the original value. And remember, please, to always show the direction of the change. If it's a, a minus, for example, a fall in something, remember to put the minus in the percentage calculation. OK, so we're going to look at four examples. For each of them, uh, you might want to have uh, a calculator handy to have a go and press the pause button at the appropriate moment. Our first example is the market for electric car sales. And the data I'm showing you here is global car sales. They've more than doubled in 2021 to 6.6 6 million. A staggering number of sales, though, with more than 3 million in China alone. So here's the uh, quick calculation. Uh, what would be, uh, here's a chance to press the pause button. What would be the percentage change in global car sales from 2020 to 2021? Have a quick go at this one. Press the pause button and then we'll go through it together. OK, percentage change in car sales from 2020 to 21. The original sales were 3 million. They jumped to 6.6 .6 million. That is a change of 3.6 million in just one year. The original value in 2020 was 3 million. And therefore, the percentage change is the change over the original 3.6 divided by 3 times by 100, which is plus 120%. Keep in mind, of course, that if something doubles, it's not a 200% change, it's a 100% change. In this case, global car sales increased by 120%. Were they to do something similar in 2022, sales would be well into, well above uh, 12, 13 million. Our second example involves a fall in something. And this time it's the number of pubs in the UK. There's a boarded up pub. The Black Swan is no more. Here is the chart on the right hand side showing the number of pubs in the UK all the way back to 1980 all the way through to 2020. So we have essentially five data points uh, for each decade. And here's a chance for you to have a go please. What is the percentage change in the number of pubs in the UK from 2010 through to 2020? Press the pause button and please have a go uh, at this question. Well let's work through the answer. Number of pubs in 2010 was 55,400. That had declined by 2020 to 46,800. So the change is minus 8,600. Of course, the original was 55,400. So the percentage change is minus 8.6 over 55.4, just converting down times 100, which is minus 15.5%. Remember, Always put the percentage in and put the minus in this case. Always a good example in the exam to show your workings. If there's a formula, include the formula, you'll get credit even if you get the answer wrong. OK, here's our third example to have a go at. This time it relates to the, uh, the gym industry and the gym group in particular, which is one of the UK's leading gym providers. This chart, nice simple one, shows the revenue, the total revenue, uh, not profit, but revenue of the gym group in the UK, uh, this time measured in dollars uh, in 2019 and 2020. We can see the impact, can't we, of the pandemic of the first uh, COVID-19 lockdown in 2020 on the revenues of the gym group. And here's a chance to do a calculation. Calculate the percentage change in the revenue of the gym group from 2019 to 2020. Please press the pause button. Have a go at the question. And then we'll go through it together. So 2020 was a bad year for the gym group. Their revenues fell substantially. But what was it as a percentage change? Well, revenue in 2019, $196 million. 
That dropped $203 million in 2020. So the change was minus $93 million. Of course, it's a fall. Divide by the original 196, multiply by 100. And you can see that revenues in 2020 fell by, well, fell by, the change was minus 48.2% to one decimal place. A sharp fall in revenues. And our fourth example, some of you will be familiar with Innocent, uh, which is now a mainstream uh, drinks company. And uh, here are the sales. Oh, so it's the profits, not the sales, the profits of Innocent in the UK in thousands of pounds from 2015 all the way through to 2020. And you can see, indeed, that profits were, were rising strongly all the way through to 2019. They hit £17.9 million, pounds, effectively, but then dropped again, obviously, during the first year of the pandemic. Here's our question. In fact, there are two calculations for this last one. And it does read the question carefully. Calculate the approximate percentage change in the profit of Innocent. First of all, from 2015 to 2019, and then from 2019 to 2020. Now, approximate means that you can uh, do a little bit of rounding up and rounding down if needed to get an approximate change. So have a go at these two calculations. Test yourself, maybe give yourself a minute to do each. And then we'll go through them together. So, Innocence profits going up from 2015 to 2019, but then a big drop uh, thereafter. 2015, they made approximately £10.6 million pounds of profit. That's rounding down, isn't it? Uh, 2019, 179 uh, rounding up to 17.9. So, a little bit of rounding up there to get an approximation. The change was therefore plus 7.3, divide by the original. 10.6 and multiplied by 100 and that gives you the percentage change of plus 69 percent but in 2020 profits dropped from 17.9 million to 15.4 rounding down so the change therefore was minus 2.5 million at this time the original was 17.9 the data in 2019 so the change is minus 2.5 divided by 17.9, and that is then multiplied by 100, and that gives you a change of minus 14%, 14% drop in profits in one year, although profits still effectively, watch about 50% higher than they were in 2015. So there we go. Hopefully that was a useful little bit of revision with four percentage calculations. In the exam, you may be asked to do these calculations, of course, percentage change is crucial for things like elasticity of demand and supply. So it's always good to keep practicing these things so that you can do them accurately and well and quickly in the exam. Huge thanks for joining in. Stay safe. Stay, stay curious. See you sometime soon.